Here in western El Salvador, at the foot of the Tacapa volcano, a hot spring is bubbling to the surface. The mountainous grasslands here have been a bubbling cauldron for thousands of years. Deep below the Earth's surface, water is heated by lava. That boiling water comes to the surface as thermal springs, and there are many hot springs in El Salvador. The hot water smells like sulfur, but it's very useful for doing the laundry. It's much faster. And because the water is so warm, we don't have to use a lot of soap. The geothermal power plant in the small town of Berlin in El Salvador also makes use of the hot water deep beneath the surface of the earth. This is the largest geothermal plant in the country. The steam is used to power turbines which generate electricity, green electricity without harmful CO2 emissions. Rainer Schröer from GIZ, the German Society for International Cooperation, is helping to ensure that this energy is used even more efficiently. He's speaking with a manager of the geothermal plant. We produce 30 megawatts. That's a lot. One of the wells is 2,600 meters deep, the other is only 1,100 meters. 30 megawatts. That's 3.4 percent of El Salvador's energy needs. But the plant could produce even more. The steam that escapes from the turbines could also be harnessed as a source of energy. But El Salvador still generates only a quarter of its energy needs from geothermal power. This region has an enormous potential for renewable energy, solar power as well as wind and above all geothermal energy. But 50 percent of the country's energy is still produced with oil, heavy oil or diesel. That could soon change. El Salvador wants to tap into its hot springs. Soon much of the nation's energy needs could be met by geothermal power.